Thanks for joining us from the Ohio Agnet, voice you know with the News You Trust Studio, sponsored by Grain Equipment Company, where innovation meets execution. I'm Dusty Sonnenberg. Well, partly cloudy skies outside right now, temperature pushing 79 degrees on the barn thermometer. Not a bad day to be out and about getting things done with some rain in the forecast for later tonight and into tomorrow. National tractor pulls start today. There are also six county fairs going on in the state of Ohio currently. A couple quick calendar reminders. You're invited to visit the Dark County Fair August 16th through the 24th in Greenville, Ohio. Find the full schedule of events at darkcountyfair.com. And tune in tomorrow at midday as powered by Soy Biodiesel, Dale will be broadcasting from the Dark County Fair. Also, Ohio is a powerhouse of national leadership for commodity organizations. Listen to our midday programming coming up on Tuesday to find out why, thanks to Ohio Corn and Wheat. Let's check in now with Dale Menyo and an update from Grow Next Gen, brought to you by the Ohio Soybean Council and Soybean Farmers. We're at the Ohio State Fair and joining me from the Grow Next Gen display is Michaela Spore and Michaela and her friends with the Grow Next Gen Ambassador Program are helping consumers better understand diets for livestock and give us a brief overview. What are you helping to share with this group? Here at Grow Next Gen at our booth we are talking about how our food that we eat is also somewhat similar to a livestock feed as well with the soybean use in it. So some of the things they're using as props might be candies. You've got some different kinds of chips and things. Are you helping people literally work through the human side of the label? And then I also saw you did have other actual hog ration labels there. Yes, so we have Cheez-Its or Chex Mix and that has soybeans in it and along with Smarties and Skittles which also have soybean oil in it. And it's similar to our livestock feed because that has soybeans in it for protein purposes and our protein would be either the Cheez-Its or the Chex Mix and then our Smarties and Skittles are to represent the other things such as fiber and minerals and stuff that would be in livestock feed. So. And everybody that's working as a Grow Next Gen ambassador in your group, this is their first year? Yes, that is correct. How did you get involved in this program or hear about it? I was actually applying for a scholarship through the Ohio Soybean Council and saw that they were hiring for ambassadors for Grow Next Gen because they're connected. The Ohio Soybean Council and Grow Next Gen work together. What's it like to, to help people understand some things they may have went, uh-huh, or gee, I didn't know about? Uh, it's very interesting because a lot of people here don't have an agricultural background, so it's nice to see them make that connection to wow, soybeans are in so many different things, and I never knew like livestock feed could also be correlated to our own food that we eat. And thank you, Michaela Spore, Grow Next Gen Ambassador, talking while we were at the Ohio State Fair. Thanks, Dale. Well, let's take a look now at that Thursday weather forecast brought to us by Seed Consultants. Simply better performance online at seedconsultants.com. Sun followed by increasing clouds for the rest of this afternoon. I'm Chief Meteorologist Ryan Martin. Quick forecast update here in Ohio. We're watching moisture build to the west. Uh, Illinois already has picked up plenty, and we're seeing it move across Indiana. I think a few hit and miss scattered showers can pop up this afternoon in west central and northwest Ohio but the bulk of the state sees precipitation develop overnight tonight through tomorrow and then we have lingering moisture for Saturday even into early Sunday. Combined event anywhere from a quarter to maybe two inches of rain depending on where you're at. I think a lot of us are in that half to one range by the time all is said and done. Coverage around 80 to 90 percent of the state drying down next week. I'm Ryan Martin. Thanks Ryan. Stay tuned. We'll be back to take a look at your markets after this. In any year Your best harvest is only a few upgrades away. Seed Consultants exclusively serves the Eastern Corn Belt, combining our deep knowledge of local conditions with high-performing products fit for your acres. Most importantly, our customized services put our products and your business in a position to succeed. We help you start with better to grow your best. Visit SeedConsultants.com to learn why our products and services are simply better. Ohio Corn and Wheat has long worked tirelessly in the interest of today's grain industry. Because you're busy farming and raising a family, so we're at the table when you can't be. But like you, we can't do it alone. Our strength is in our members. Our strength is in you. Join us as we continue advocating for the American corn and wheat farmer. Visit www.ohiocornandwheat.org and become a member today. 
Let's take a look now at the market technicals with Ryan Metzger from Leist Mercantile. This morning, the USDA released their export sales data for the week ending August 8th. With a historically slow start to sales on this 24-25 crop, we're starting to see some much-needed movement. The USDA announced sales of 221.7 thousand metric tons of 23-24 beans and a whopping 1.3442 million metric tons of the 24-25 soybeans. On corn, the USDA announced sales of 120.5 thousand metric tons of 23-24 crop and a very solid 800.5 thousand metric tons of the 24-25 corn. 24-25 wheat exports came in with a respectable 339.9 thousand metric tons of announced sales. Thanks Ryan and this analysis brought to you by Brandt, helping growers take control for over 70 years. Let's take a look at those markets brought to us by Seed Consultants. Simply better performance online at seedconsultants.com. September corn is trading down a penny and a half at 379 and a half. September soybeans up four and a half cents at 956 and one half cent. And wheat for September up by four at 538 and three quarter cent. October live cattle and lean hogs both trading lower this morning. This is the Ohio AgNet.